Hey guys, welcome back to uh, this episode. Um, today we're doing a review uh, for Blue Eddy on their, um, their new EB3A that's actually been launched today, I believe. Um, so today I'm just gonna run you through um, features of it, what it looks like, um, what you can do with it, charging specs, everything you sort of wanna know. I've been getting smacked with heaps of questions from the um, EB70 that I've got, the little blue one. Um, we take it camping with us, it's great for uh, sitting around the fire. You know, charging your phone, it's got a wireless dock on top so you throw your phone on it. Um, you can run the fridge next to you at the, fr uh, the fire if you want, if you don't want to um, be walking back to your car every time you want a beer. Um, so yeah, these work really good for that, but we'll get stuck into it. Um, we'll unbox it and well, I guess we'll get into it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and let's do it. <laughs> That was my little intro. I haven't ran the intro for a while, but lucky you, you get to see it today. Right, uh, here we go. This is the unboxing of the Blue Eddy. As you can tell, I've already undone it, done that prior to this video. Um, but I have not done this, so let's pull her out. Throw that over there. Um, this might be a bit boring for some of you, but some of you guys are actually keen on one of these. Um, I'm gonna run through as much as I possibly can. If I don't cover everything that you need, um, I'll put the link at the top of the description. Um, so just click that link and um, hopefully it works for you. If not, send me a message or just follow Blue Eddie on Instagram. They're on Instagram, TikTok. I'm pretty sure they're even on YouTube. Let's have a look at this. All right, good packaging. User manual? We don't need that. Us men. Uh, right, it's still in the blue bag. Oh, it's light. Uh, four and a half kilos it weighs, so that's pretty bloody handy. Oh, well, that'll be the solar um, cables for charging. We'll keep that for later. Oh no, hey, this is tiny. It's smaller than the other blue one. I should have got. I'll get that out in a minute. I'll put them next to each other. So this is her. Check that out. Handle, mad for carrying, easy for carrying, um, and it has got the wireless charging dock on top of this one too. That's sick because you just throw your phone on it and it charges it um, wherever you're at, fire, in the car, you know, kids are in the boot, got too many kids and all the cords are taken up, throw one on that, works really good. Righto, so straight up is a 600 watt uh, pure sign inverter in this little bad boy, that's good for smaller stuff. 268 watt hours, um, which is about 12 amp hours I believe. Um, you can charge it many ways, you can charge it um, solar, AC, via your car, 12 volt, 24 volt. Um, I'll run through how long it takes for each individual charging um, area, what you're trying to charge it with, whether it be solar AC or um, 12 volt or 24. It's got a Life Pro battery with two and a half thousand plus uh, uh, charging cycles. Uh, like I said, it's got six ways of charging it. So there's the um, AC, uh, solar, car, um, and the AC and solar together with a dual application that you can buy. I think of an aftermarket thing um, through Blue Eddy. Um, and obviously you can use the generator to charge it as well. As you can see on the um, front of the Blue Eddy here, um, there's eight different applications. So you can charge, you know, iPhones, um, tablets, iPads, whatever you want. Uh, I think the max solar input's 200 watts. It's fast charging, very fast charging, um, and it is very cost effective. Pricing will be on the link. Check out the link, add Blue Eddy, follow Blue Eddy. Um, and they got all, this is not just this one, this has just been launched today. So if you want to have a look at this one or any other Blue Eddy um, devices they've got, jump on their website or the Instagram page and you'll find the link in their bio. Uh, charges from zero to 80% in 40 minutes uh, via 240, which is bloody incredible. Um, so if you, are, if you have got the opportunity to have 240 wherever you are camping, if you're in a caravan park or whatever you're at, if you've got 240, you can actually, you can literally charge this bad boy in like an hour and a half. Um, fully charged and you can run a fridge for two days off it. So uh, yeah, the wireless charging pad. I haven't got another phone, obviously I'm using mine right now. I'm gonna grab Ashes in a minute though because there is a um, Blue Eddy app that you can download and you can um, 
you can operate this wireless from with your phone through the Bluetooth app. So we're going to do that in a second. I've just got to grab um, Ash's phone. We'll... All right, guys, we'll get into the um, charging time. So the AC recharge time on the turbo mode, fully sick turbo, you can charge it on that turbo mode between 1.3 and 1.8 hours. Um, it says if you're out camping and you need this, like, you know, and you've got something you're able to charge this with, um, that's fast. Or even if you're at home using it. Standard mode, I think it's one to two hours uh, without the turbo. A solar, a solar input, so you can do that in without two hours as well if you've got good sun, um, one to two hours, um, 200 wattage input. Um, as long as you've got some good sun like we do today, I don't think you're gonna have an issue charging this bad boy. Um, if you're running it in the car while you're driving to the next destination, you're looking at about three to four hours. Um, if you're using, the tw if you've got a 24 volt set up in your car, it's gonna be a little bit quicker. And like I said before, you can actually use AC and solar to charge this, which will just pump it in at like 430 watts, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you'll charge that at like between one to one and a half hours with the um, solar and AC. Um, so that's really good. 24 months warranty, uh, which is really good. Um, like I said, I've been running the EB70 now for 12 months, I believe, and we've used it heaps. Like camping, it's been thrown around in the back of the GQ. Um, ran my fridge overnight, a couple of nights, runs it in the back of the car when, when some of the other options aren't working. Um, it's working really good. I haven't had an, I haven't had an issue with it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I can see, I can almost put my bottom dollar on it. This is gonna be just as good as the EB70. There are some option extras. You can buy the solar panel and um, charging cord, the 12 volt for the car, um, like the charging cable for the 12 volt. Uh, but overall, I haven't actually been able to use this yet. So what we're gonna do now, is I'm gonna, well, what I might do, I'll go up Ash's phone and I'll show you the app real quick. It's just Blue Eddy. If you go into your app store and type in Blue Eddy, um, it'll come up and just download that, connect it to this via Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi. And um, you can operate this bad boy. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. You can do what you want with it, turn the lights on with it through the app. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll plug it into the fridge and um, see if it can't turn the fridge on. All right, guys, we got Ash's phone. This is the Blue Eddy app. Um, you can see that you can log in, make an account, or just connect straight to the Blue Eddy itself. Let's do it. Connect. Connect your Bluetooth. So it's just going through. You're now going to connect, so I guess I've got to turn it on. Up here. Uh, please turn on your Bluetooth and your mobile. Yep, we're good to go. Yep. Just turn the Bluetooth on. Uh, it comes up the model. You can see that there. I guess we just select that. This is the first time we're using this app, by the way, so... Hang in there. Right, so it's connect, successfully connected to the EB3A. You can see there. Righto, press OK. Uh, it's telling me now that it's connected. Um, there's zero charge input, zero power going out. Um, pretty much, it's just standing there with it sitting there with it turned on. Um, I have not charged this. Obviously, you can see I've pulled it straight out of the box. It's at 67%, so thanks, Blue Eddy, for um, half charging it before you send them out. That's great. Um, I'll show you the screen there. So you can see where it's sitting in the middle there at 67%. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can... Um, let's see if we can turn something on. So we'll plug the fridge in. I already plugged it into the fridge there, but I'm using a 240-volt cable here. Righto, let's see what we can do. I don't even know if the fridge is still on. Righto, let's see if I can turn the fridge on. Oh, yep, she's firing. There we go. So that was done via the app. Wow, well, yeah. how good is that? So you'll be sitting around the fire with this. I don't know if you want to turn your fridge on and off all the time because you kept your, your beers will go warm, but. I mean, it's there if you need to. But you can see here, it's pulling um, 49 watts out of it. I don't know if you can see that, how good that is, but anyway, it's there. Um, this is really good. And yeah, like you turn, you can go to DC as well. This is running through AC at the moment. You go through DC and turn the system off. If you're you know, going to bed, you just don't feel like walking up to this bad boy, just press off. And um, I'm gonna do that now. So you press the um, fridge off, which is the AC. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's turned off. Turn the system off and it should be shutting down now. Which it has. Here's that. So guys, that's the Blue Eddy app. Like I said just before, 
Um, yes, power off. Uh, as I said before, um, it's just going to the app, um, Blue Eddy. Type in Blue Eddy and you'll get the app. Simple as that. Um, this is the, I was talking before about the um, wireless uh, charging point on this Blue Eddy at the top of it. So we'll turn it on and you just slap any device down on top and it charges just like that. Um, it's really handy. You don't have to worry about cords and stuff hanging out and tripping over cords and stuff. You can literally put your phone on there, sit beside it, pick it up, you know, check your messages, put it back down, it charges. So that's really handy. Um, and hats off to Blue Eddy for um, coming up that design. All right, guys, hope you uh, enjoyed that. Um, just quickly though, that is a 75 litre Waco fridge dual zone. Um, this little Blue Eddy will run it for two days. So, you know, if you're not, if you're someone that wants to, you know, you're not, you don't want to spend a million bucks on 12 volt system for your back of your car, whether or not you've got a full drive, you've got a station wagon, or, you know, you just got a Camry and you want to go, you know, you want to go to a caravan park for a couple of days with your missus and kids. These little things are an absolute great option because you can just throw them in your boot, go out and buy a fridge, uh, throw them in the back of your car, put this in there, charge it the night before you go. If you're only going for a day, even better, but if you're going for two, this will do it. And if you want to buy the option solar panel, option extra solar panel with this, and you get there and you stay in there for three or four days even, just whack the solar panel out in the sun, it'll charge this bad boy through the day, still run your fridge, and over night time you'll have cold beers, you'll have cold food, and you won't have any issues with that, and you don't have to spend a million dollars. These are very cost effective. Like I said, the link's in the description, have a look. Um, see what you think. Uh, any questions, shoot them to me. I hope I've touched on pretty much everything I possibly can. Like I said, this is a new item to me, so I don't know a lot about it. Um, I've done the best I can by just studying a little bit about it, um, just to give you guys some answers that I've been getting asked, because I've been getting a few questions on Instagram about the Blue Eddy PB70. Um, like I said, we still use that um, all the time, actually, even when we're just at home, um, out the back, having a barbecue or something, we'll throw it out there. If we've got friends over, they can um, charge their phones, um, Whatever they need to do, we can plug, we can charge our speaker with it. We can run the fridge off it out the back if we want, say, coming into the shed or inside. So, um, really good, handy bit of kit. Um, I don't know if I showed you the light before, but they've got lights on the side too. And um, that's just handy for night time. If you haven't got a full 12 volt system set up in your car, you can run the light and you can um, not trip over everything. So, I think I've covered everything. Um, if there's any questions, like I said again, message me or Blue Eddie. Give them a follow though, and um, check out their gear. They've got heaps of other stuff. They've got massive one systems, eh? Huge. They run your whole house. Um, have a look and um, see what you think, and um, good luck with it. And I hope you guys have a good week. And I think not putting much up this week for um, content, but there'll be something coming up next week. And um, so we'll see you then. So cheers, guys.